Hey Simmons, welcome back to Simpit Academy. Today we start a new series of um, not building the aircraft but operating the aircraft. So there's a lot to learn about configuring and learning everything about flying an aircraft as much as um, learning to build it. So starting with the controls, depending on what kind of hotels you use and what kind of aircraft you're flying, you need to set up everything correctly in order to use the buttons. So this example, we use the F-15E, but um, even for other aircraft, other hotels, hardware, you have to go through a similar exercise. So it's good to see where are the all the places that we need to visit. Starting with DCS controls setup, we look at the axis first for your chosen aircraft. So the joystick, obviously the X and Y, right? And then your hotels, you need the Z axis for the thrust. And for the TDC, it's not a button, it's um, XY. So it's found here on your throttle. And then the rudder is this RZ here. We also have toe brakes. So the left and the right toe brakes are under here, X and Y. Okay, these are the basic setup for axis. The default ones might be different, so you have to test them. So as mentioned here, the, the TDC, it's not found here, it's not found here, it's this XY thing here, all right, over here. So this was the default um, TDC slew button, which was pretty crappy and did not work well. So I bought this Delta SIM electronics package where you take this out, put this in, and um, now this uh, button is a lot better. This is analog, this digital. But anyway, this is more accurate and much easier to control. So I'm happy with this. Next is the dead zones for pitch, roll, and rudder. We have to create a dead zone and then also curve. Okay, this um, slider will make this curve, and then here it will the dead zone here. You widen the horizontal line here, so you need it for all three. Now the throttle is a linear straight up and down. You don't have a dead zone in between. For toe brakes, you do not want it to go like this. You want it to invert. So first create a dead zone and then click this one, invert for the X and Y, the left and uh, right um, toe brakes. For the Hodes stick, I'm using the F-18 Hornet one, which is similar to the one for the Strike Eagle. So all these numbers are the default buttons. Uh, they are all mostly already correctly assigned to the FF F15E in DCS. Except this, this is trigger one stage is one, second stage is uh, six. It was by default assigned 16. So, um, in the DCS menu, there isn't a first or second stage trigger. It's just trigger, so I assign it to one. All right, so default 16, I corrected that to one. Then all these pink ones that you see are available on the physical stick. Um, you can actually, this acquisition button forward, back and down, you can actually move it left and right which is not used 
right similarly this scroll wheel you can press you can scroll up and down not used this button here not used so um, all this are correctly assigned it's different um, than the a10 a10 doesn't really use this at all here this one the uh, this and autopilot disengage stuff seems to work so anyway don't have to do much here except correcting this you can think of something else to use for all these unassigned uh, buttons for the throttle these are all the default uh, USB controller buttons but they are not assigned okay this is what is meant for as shown here somebody did this so left multifunction switch right multifunction switch i haven't explored how the coolie thing works yet uh, i move this i don't see any i don't detect anything move but the tdc moves and the press down button is mapped by default then this one actually is the name of all the switches except these two they stop calling the the correct switch this is the boat switch they basically just spell out the function um, undesignate and missile reject switch is basically the same thing not not one forward for one back for the other you are doing both at the same time they just cycle in the opposite uh, order then this weapon mode switch is actually the china head switch so the throttle most of this except i think for this number one button everything else was not assigned or not assigned correctly so i have to map it so here the boat uh, as shown here the boat weapon mode um, sorry this boat here the the undesignate one you don't have a undesignate or missile switch function here you just look for the boat aft and forward and this is what i sign and then the command the pinky switch um, was also not assigned which i have to add coolie was already added um finger lift i'm using this i'm using this thrustmaster warhawk uh, throttle which has a lot of extra buttons but actually they are mostly meant for the a10 so most of this you cannot even find to map so the top these two switches here are pushing it up it's a momentary switch the down is latch so the finger leaf needs um like a like a button a momentary function so i use this tool for the left and right finger lift okay then uh another multifunction switch and then this one in the a10 we have we have forward back up down we have four in the f15e we only use forward and aft okay so there isn't an up down to map next radar antenna um we are lacking the hardware um this cube sim offers this thing that you can attach maybe later i might add it before i can assign it here uh speed brake is this one here forward backward okay which i um which i had to add see this is the only one that i didn't have to add the press the tdc press and then the weapon the china head it was mapped 9 and 10 which is wrong uh it's 11 and 12 okay this is the weapons mode so the throttle has a lot of work to add the correct mapping now i also added the flaps this one uh, under here under flight control you can't find it under hotels or general whatever so up and down okay not the one in between 
then everything else um apu autopilot um all these engine stuff they don't match the f15e so the only tool that i could add was this um, landing gear silence button which is mapped to the correct uh, button of 21 and i also added this 25 for radar altimeter altimeter that's about it um, under the ui layer you can have all this generic stuff like active pause and end mission this is to accelerate the time change it back to normal pilot and weasel view labels control indicator on off mouse you know all this stuff so like found here so you will not find it under the your normal specific aircraft so go to ui to do this I also found that this is not used, right? This little button here for um, button 5. So I added it here under the joystick. Okay, so it's useful when I press it. In VR, it will zoom so I can see aircraft better. I can see the terrain better. You press and hold, it will zoom in, let go, you will zoom out. So this is pretty handy. Instead of pressing a button uh, on this joystick panel here, um, so then besides mapping the whole test, we also need to map the MFD. So Thrustmaster, this is called MFD for the F-16. Um, and by default in your PC, it's numbered like this 1 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 15, 16 to 20, and then this Rocker is 21, 22. Contrast and brightness are similar to the F15. So they both exist, contrast and brightness, right? This gain thing doesn't, it's a bit, which um, we don't do anything in the F15. Then in the F15, this is power. So I map it to this one. Okay, so it goes like this for um, the MFD, the Cougar MFD in DCS. The way they name it, this the number starts here. Okay, um, counterclockwise, and starting number is different. So when you map, it looks like button one to twenty, and then here button one to twenty is opposite, and then it goes back. So for the MPD left, right, and MPCD, the central one, the colored one, you have to do it like this. All right, so basically I use two pairs of um, Cougar MFDs, two left and two right. So in your game controller, you're going to see two of them and you cannot rename them. If you find a way in, um, in, the, in the computer, um, you edit the, the registration, whatever, um, it will rename both and then even if you set it once and working sometimes over time dcs might confuse you'll see like left mfd left mfd right mfd right mfd so even though it's assigned correctly over time it might get confused and start to swap then you have to remap okay it's kind of a pain so i haven't found a solution to prevent this so at the moment you press it it matches the physical one the, the physical one matches the game so over sometimes it, it just goes opposite right they, this two like yesterday this two was opposite um, virtual versus real then for the UFC I use this left one here so in the physical MFD Cougar um, it's like 6 to 10 16 to 20 right Whereas in DCS, our UFC is labeled like this. Always starting in the top left corner and going down and going counterclockwise. So 6 to 10. So your mapping will be 1 to 9 and then 10 here. And then basically it's always opposite. Alright, so 
you have to be aware of this. If not, you'll be wondering why they don't match if you just purely go by the numbers. Now, in this digital combat simulator, um, if you go download and choose user files, you see documents, device profiles, or whatever useful stuff to download. So, for any aircraft that you are flying, you can find the hotel mapping like this, the checklist. Okay. So there were several versions. You just pick one, like this is the one I picked. So you just pick one that you like. You can also print this out and put it on a kneeboard, a real physical kneeboard. I'm using the Quest 3. Obviously, I can look at this Hotes, um mapping on an iPad, but looking uh, display through the Quest 3, sometimes it's a bit hard. So I prefer to print out and look at an uh, old school physical kneeboard. Okay, so this is for the throttle. I have yet to understand and try out all these settings. And then um, under the user files, you can also find several checklists. Like these are all examples. So you can pick one that you like. All right. And now we'll see a demo of the um, the zoom button, pressing it and then having the VR zoom. So we lean forward, we can see the button that we are pressing. So when we actually press it, then it will zoom in like this. Next reality is cool. So again, we press and we can see the front a lot better.